Thank you. We move to our next item of business today, which is topical questions. Question number one from Monica Lennon. Thank you, Presiding Officer. To ask the Scottish Government whether it will provide an update on the teaching practice placements for teacher training students at the University of Strathclyde, which were due to have started on the 19th of September. Cabinet Secretary John Swinney. Presiding Officer, earlier today, 100 Strathclyde University students are yet to have their placements confirmed. Student teacher placements are arranged using the student placement system, which enables the matching of student teachers to school places throughout Scotland. The General Teaching Council for Scotland hosts the student placement system, but the system is entirely reliant on universities providing good information about students and local authorities providing adequate places for students in schools for su successful matches to be made. Supporting student teachers is a fundamental professional responsibility of local authorities, schools and experienced teachers. I expect all schools to be willing to offer placements to student numbers and it is vital there is cooperation between the General Teaching Council, universities, local authorities and schools to ensure that sufficient places are secured. I have discussed this matter with the Chief Executive of the General Teaching Council for Scotland and he has assured me that everything possible is being done to secure placements for these students as quickly as possible. My officials have also discussed this issue with the General Teaching Council, the University of Strathclyde and the Association of Directors of Education in Scotland and are continuing to work with these bodies to deliver an early solution to this problem. Monica Lennon. Thank you. I thank the Minister for that answer. It did indeed emerge this morning in a report in the Herald that more than 110 students at universities, not just at Strathclyde, but across Scotland, were unable to begin school placements yesterday. And dozens of these students, locked out of the classroom, have been in touch with me for assistance. One of these students wrote, and there's dozens of, of emails here, I have not been able to get a confirmed school. I am now sitting in my university library feeling that Scotland hates its new teachers and that talent and potential is being wasted. Emotional words. What assurances can the Minister therefore give to reassure these students that those currently without a placement will be allocated one very soon that will allow them to fulfil their training requirements and can a deadline be given for this action? Cabinet Secretary. Well, the first thing I want to say is that uh, I understand entirely the frustration of young people that are affected in this way. And I find it wholly and utterly unacceptable that this situation has arisen. Uh, Monica Lennon will understand, as I explained in my first answer, that this system is reliant entirely on universities providing good information about students and local authorities providing adequate places for students in schools. So the responsibility to ensure that the system works adequately and effectively is for the, there to be sufficient placements identified within schools and for universities to be able to identify the correct information on individual candidates to secure uh, the resolution. Now, what I can assure uh, Monica Lennon about is that uh, there has been a substantial number of uh, placements already uh, arranged. Uh, there are 6,526 students in the cohort that uh, are currently seeking placements and there are, as of the data I have available to me, 128 placements requiring to be placed around the whole of Scotland. So there has been, uh, uh, you know, the, the overwhelming majority of placements have been secured, but that is not good enough for the 128 young people who are affected by this problem. And as I explained in my answer, um, I have discussed this issue with the General Teaching Council for Scotland, who host the system, um, they facilitate it, but the system is entirely dependent on the universities and schools coming up with the placements. And um, a number of actions have been identified um, to advance this issue. Uh, the General Teaching Council have asked School Leaders Scotland to communicate with the, who are principally head teachers and senior management and teams in schools to communicate with their members to encourage them to offer placements. Uh, Strathclyde University will engage directly with local authorities to identify placement matches for students. The Association of Directors of Education have agreed to communicate with all directors of education in the Western Partnership and encourage them to offer placements. And the General Teaching Council will facilitate a manual placement process to ensure a quick turnaround. Um, there will be follow-up um, action taken by government to ensure that these actions are being taken 
to try to draw this matter to a close as quickly as we possibly can do. Monica Lennon. Thank you. And again, I welcome some of those remarks because these students are our next generation of teachers and a practice placement is a vital part of their training to ensure they're equipped to meet the targets set by the Scottish Attainment Challenge. But this isn't the first time this has happened. When similar issues with practice placements emerged in September 2014, the General Teaching Council Scotland said that the new system required time to address the issues to lead to a smoother operation in future. It's now two years down the line and the students on placement now or hoping to be in placement will have further placements throughout the rest of the year. Can we be assured that the Scottish Government will exhaust all avenues to make sure that the student placement system leaves no student behind? Cabinet Secretary. Uh, well, I have every interest in ensuring the successful placement of, uh, of aspiring teachers within the system. Um, but I would have thought that would be the priority for everybody. And we're ex experiencing just now, and we hear about these points in Parliament, about a shortage of teachers, which therefore would suggest to me the importance that has to be attached in every single local authority in the country of ensuring there are an adequate number of school placements available for trainee teachers. Now, I can't direct schools to make placements available. Local authorities uh, run the schools of Scotland and they've got to take responsibility for ensuring there are adequate places available. So it's in all of our interests to make sure that there are placements for young people so they can get on with their teacher training and they can fill the vacancies in the teaching profession that exist. So I am absolutely committed to making sure that these young people uh, are able to fulfil their teacher training, but I call on the universities of Scotland and the local authorities of Scotland to do what is entirely within their responsibility to make sure there is an adequate number of school placements available and that uh, there is good quality information from universities to resolve this issue. Because that way, we will enable to do what Monica Lennon quite rightly said in her question, is ensure that these um, uh, aspiring teachers can make a substantial contribution to the future of Scottish education, which is, I which is what I want to see them do. Bruce Crawford. I thank you, President Officer. Uh, Cabinet Secretary, I too have had a number of constituents who have raised concerns me over this matter. I'm glad you have clarified the, the, the case that the system is run by universities and in partnership with councils. Uh, and obviously, some of the questions being raised today should be put to the appropriate local authorities. But as Monica Lennon has already described, this has happened before. And in that case, if local authorities cannot deliver, is it time that we reviewed this process to ensure that important process, so important to teachers under training, is carried out effectively? Cabinet Secretary. I, I would refer Mr Crawford to one of the answers I gave to Monica Lennon, which is to indicate that the overwhelming majority of placements have been able to be undertaken and to be undertaken in a timely fashion. But there are clearly um, a number of aspiring teachers who have not been able to secure their placements, and that is frankly not acceptable to me. So I certainly will ensure that the actions I've set out that have been agreed to be taken forward will be pursued by the relevant bodies. Uh, I will remain very close to this, but I stress that it's in everybody's interest, um, uh, those who complain to me about the shortage of teachers, to uh, take all necessary action to ensure that we can properly um, place uh, teachers in uh, placement opportunities within our schools and to enable these individuals to make a contribution to the future of Scottish education. Thank you, the Cabinet Secretary. We're now going to turn to... That concludes topical questions.